kind of like a crappy place to uh, take this. Uh, I forgot to make an intro to this video. Um, basically, what you're about to witness is one of my like best days of uh, photography. This is going to be a great episode. I uh, really hope that you guys are going to like this episode. Um, but yeah, I went out today and I took pictures by the ocean. Uh, I haven't been out there since last summer and there was tons and tons of compositions, tons of birds. Um, I got a few uh, like seascapes, but um, mostly, mostly bird photography today. Uh, I didn't really teach much. I didn't like throw any any like lessons, but um, it was it was a great day of photography. I was just really focused on trying to get my shots. So um, once again, you know, I'm still testing around with this new series, and I just hope that you guys like this episode. Uh, it was a great day of photography. The photos were just absolutely amazing. I really hope that you like this, and um, hope you enjoy the video. <laughs> As you can see right now, I have a line about four or five egret, and then this is a seagull that's sitting right on the end there. And um, I have I have like a little bit later than golden hour. I want the light to be a little bit lower, so I'm just gonna go around the other side and shoot so that the sun is to their back and see if I can get a good shot that way. Because uh, because the birds are so white, it exposes them a lot. And they have a lot of light on them, so uh, it can be tough to shoot with so much direct light on them. Oh, uh, also another thing to mention is that these guys are like right in the mating season. And um, basically what happens is they get plumage, which is, uh, they get a bunch of ruffled feathers uh, around their eyes. Usually it'll be like green around their eyes. And uh, it's really amazing. I'll show you a shot real quick. So you can see on this guy, uh, his plumage is really showing. He has all those ruffled feathers out. And um, that's common for them right now because of their mating season. better well i don't know if it's better but um i did get one shot last year it was these two eager they're flying next to each other but these guys in their plumage when they pull out their feathers and the sun hits it it is the most beautiful thing i've ever seen i can't be more thankful to be here out right now taking pictures of these guys it's amazing all right so it's been really hard to photograph uh, or take out the vlog because i've been photographing so much i'm just getting some b-roll it's kind of crappy right now um the money is right here, guys. I, I don't know how to explain it. This is the best photography I have done in a while. It's just perfect. This is some good B-roll right now. We have literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten egret in the area. This is just what photography is about. It is absolutely amazing. I've never experienced this. This is just, this is amazing. I can't even think. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to say. Look at these. We got six five six egrets in the frame right now these guys like i said they're in their plumage and um the feathers when they ruffle out you can get amazing shots that's what i'm looking for uh whenever their feathers kind of ruffle out you gotta you gotta get interesting exposures you can't just get an egret it has to be something that's interesting and that's unique i got like a thousand seagulls calling right now i got the egrets they're they're making all their calls i got little uh shorebirds like small ones um, it's awesome. Photography is so awesome so far. I have a wedding later today, so I can't stay here for the whole day. I have to leave uh, at around 10 o'clock. I came here at like 6. I came here for the golden hour. Uh, it didn't really work out. Uh, the, the light's kind of soft. It's behind clouds, and it's making it perfect light. Um, I'm just going to stop talking now because I don't want to spook these, uh, these guys. Alright, so we're climbing up this hill now. It's a very, uh, very tall hill. I'm gonna be able to see like the whole entire ocean. And oh my god, I can already see it. It's really beautiful, I'll show you guys. And I literally, all you can see is ocean. You can't see anything else. It just goes right out and all you can see is ocean. It's amazing. You see it kind of right on the horizon. 
We got the zoom lens out, and then I'll uh, I'll zoom in on all that. So I'll do it with this thing. We have the whole entire park. And then come over here, and then we just got the open ocean right out there. You see a big old ship out there too. It's pretty cool though. So I'm just gonna sit on this bench. I'm gonna look at my pictures and stuff, and I'm gonna chill out and just have a good time, just relax. As long as I get a few shots uh, that I like in one day, I'll be happy. But um, I'm just looking at them right now. I know they're already gonna be great. So um, I'm really happy with these. They've uh, turned out really well. It's a great morning. And uh, I've just been working a lot. So it's really nice to just get out, get some fresh air and uh, get away from work. Just relax a little bit, you know? All right, so I'm just gonna talk with the uh, audio on my camera right now. What I'm about to show you is actually like really cool. So this is the whole entire coast the Atlantic coast and you can just see the whole entire thing until it kind of just starts to disappear but that goes all the way up to uh, New Hampshire goes up to Maine and it's that's just amazing you can see there's a ship out there some dudes down there by the um, was it by the beach we got like the houses and all that really really cool really cool stuff all right so I have about an hour and 20 minutes left of photography I see the egret again I found them uh, looks like just great egret and snowy egret so we're gonna go over there, we're gonna photograph them. But this has turned out to be a great uh, egret episode, I guess. So, um, I have no regrets coming here. This is this was amazing. I woke up early. I could have come here earlier, but hey, that's for next time. But um, in the summer, I'll be coming here a lot. This is like my favorite location to go to. So, I'm actually right in front of the egret. I'm gonna turn off the camera and I'm gonna see if I can get some pictures. These egret, they're just coming down at these little spots and they're able to find small uh, fish and stuff. You can get the fish. And it's uh, good food for them. Uh, these birds, I'm able to get really close to them and they don't get spooked off. And that's that's what I'm aiming for. Um, it's it's worked out really well. The birds are cooperating with me. And um, I'm just very impressed. I'm very surprised. And I'm very thankful to be out here finally. Probably said it a million times, but hey, I'm so happy to be out here. I haven't been to the ocean since like last summer. an osprey in the tree now i'm shooting him and uh just getting a little bit of b-roll too but i'm just waiting for uh waiting for him to fly off and once he flies off wherever the hell he goes i can get a great shot of him so i guess we're just gonna have to wait it out and see what happens this is what we were shooting so these are osprey it's really cool they have this blind here so we've got pictures of those seen a few great egret um actually i've seen more uh snowy egret today i've gotten a few shots of these guys uh they're pretty cool but uh, overall, it's been a great day. I think I'm actually gonna get going soon, and if I get any, uh, if I see any shots on the way home, I will take them. But um, yeah, we're just gonna see what we can do for now. Good thing to keep in mind right now is that it's low tide. Um, I don't want to spook these egrets. It's low tide. Uh, they're gonna be feeding at low tide, um, so it's that's what they're doing right now. It's a great time to take pictures of them. All right, so this was my last location of the day right here. And uh, that's gonna wrap up this uh, second episode. And um, it's kinda cool, kinda cool that we got out here out to the beach. I have a uh, wedding to do now. Well, not really now, I have it at like four, it's only 11. It was a great day, I uh, had a lot of fun. Can't wait to edit these pictures. Uh, they came out amazing, I can already tell. So uh, I just wanna say thank you guys very much for watching. And if you're liking the series, leave a comment, tell me what you think about it. I think I, uh, I can do anything to make it better, just tell me. Just gonna pack up my gear now. Bike's over there, but what a great day. What a beautiful, beautiful way to spend a nice Saturday. All right, so I'm gonna leave right there. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. And um, I guess I'll see you on the next vlog or next episode that I make. So see you guys later.